क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवेगेड्रोस नंबर मेंशन इट्स वैल्यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवेगेड्रो नंबर इज एवेगेड्रो नंबर टेल्स इन वन मोल ऑफ एनी गैस हाउ मेनी टोटल नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स आर देयर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिलेशन according to the relation between moles of gas and the number of molecule is that in one mole one mole of any gas in one mole of any gas there are total 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules are present so this is the concept of the concept of the avogadro number now the problem is calculate the number of moles present in propylene gas containing 2.8 into 10 to the power 25 molecule so here there is a one mistake in the uh, uh, here in the molecules in the number of molecules here this is describe the following laws and write the formula or the equations for each one for the boyle's law the relation it tells the relation between the pressure and the volume so there is a inverse relation between the pressure and the volume at the temperature constant so this is one rule here and for the charles law the volume is directly proportional to the temperature when the pressure of the gas is constant so this is the rule for the charles law and the gale lussac law or the pressure law the pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas when the the condition is when the volume of the gas is constant and the formula the formula for the boyle's law is it is p1 v1 is equal to p2 and v2 and the condition for this formula is the temperature should be constant and the formula for this the formula for the charles law is it is v1 over it is t1 it is equal to the v2 and this is t2 so here all the one values are the initial values and the two values are the final value so this is the v1 is a initial volume v2 is a final volume t1 is the initial temperature and t2 is the uh, final temperature and here with this formula the condition is that the pressure of the gas should be constant otherwise this there is no meaning for this uh, formula if the uh, if the parameter is not constant for the gale lussac law it is p1 over t1 is equal to this is p2 and this is t2 and the condition is the volume of the gas should be constant so these are the formulas and other thing is uh, the graph the graph for the boyle's law the shape of the graph for the boyle's law is if i take the volume on the on the x axis and the pressure on the y axis so this is the shape of the graph like this it is decreasing and here for this graph the temperature of the gas should be constant so it means when the value of this v is increasing if this is increasing the value of this p is decreasing if this is if this is increasing 
so this is decreasing opposite relation opposite relation inverse relation so the if the uh, pressure is inversely proportional to the volume and the graph for this the graph for the charles law is between the volume on the y axis and the temperature on the x axis and there is a straight line like this so if the temperature is increasing this temperature is increasing so the volume will also increase in the same way and the relation is the the relation between the v and the t is the volume is directly proportional to the uh, temperature and the pressure is the pressure should be constant and for the gay lussac law the graph the graph is like this here the pressure and here the temperature and the shape of the graph is like this shape is straight so it means if the temperature is increasing the pressure will also increase and the relation between the relation between the pressure and the temperature is directly proportional the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature when the volume of the gas is constant the question 1 and the part a what is the use of a bar barometer the barometer is a device which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure so this device is used to measure the atmospheric pressure in the unit of pascal Now the part B is if the density of mercury, the density is D. If the density of mercury is thirteen thousand six hundred kilogram per meter cube, and the atmospheric pressure is this is the pressure value one twenty two kilo pascal. How high? How high means this is the value of the H in the barometer formula. how high will the will the column of mercury column of mercury in a perfect mercury barometer b so it is saying this is the diagram of the barometer this is a vessel of the barometer and there is a one tube in the barometer a glass tube is there and in this glass tube here there is a mercury so this mercury it rises up so the question is saying how much this mercury it will go to up it means here this is the height of the mercury so you have to find here in at how much high this mercury will go so you have to find the value of the x here the formula for the barometer from the barometer the formula for the formula for the pressure of the barometer is this is p equal to h d and g and this h is a height this is the height of the height of mercury and this d is the density of mercury the density of mercury and this g is the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter over second square so here we have to find the value of the x so this h is equal to p over d and g and this pressure here this p is a pressure and the pressure should be in pascal and here the value of the pressure is given in kilo pascal so here we have to change the pressure in pascal so this is 122 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 so this is changing the pressure this is the kilo 
So the value of the kilo, and this is coming in uh, Pascal now. And the value of the density of the mercury is 13,600 multiplied by 9.8. When we calculate this, the answer will come. This is 0 0.91 meter. So we say like this, when we have to give the answer of the H of the barometer, we write like this. We say this is 0 0.91 meter meter of what meter of which uh, liquid which is filled in the barometer so we say like that the h is 0 0.91 meter of meter of mercury because this mercury is filled here so this is the way to uh, give the answer now question number two a closed container of volume a closed container of volume v 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 millimeter cube contains nitrogen gas at the temperature of temperature of 80 kelvin and the pressure of and the pressure of 0 0.25 megapascal. Calculate the number of moles. The number of moles means the small n we have to find here. And molecules of the gas, the number of molecules of the gas, it means the capital N we have to find. And this is the gas constant. So R is the gas constant and this is given to us. Now here, First, we will collect the given data. What are the what are the given data here? The given parameter, the volume is 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 millimeter cube. So this millimeter cube we cannot use. This should be this we have to change in meter cube. Now, if you are changing the volume, which is in the unit of millimeter cube to the meter cube. So what you have to do, you have to multiply the number by 10 to the power minus 9. So this is the rule here. This rule you have to apply. The conversion rule. Now, <clears throat> the volume, we can calculate the volume in the meter cube. So this is 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9. Now this volume will be changed to in the unit of meter cube. Now, the temperature of the gas is 80 Kelvin. So here, no need to change the unit. The Kelvin is already uh, the standard unit. The pressure of the gas is 0 0.25 megapascal. So the pressure of the gas should be in the unit of Pascal, not in the megapascal. So here, this mega, you have to change and the value of the mega is 10 to the power 6. So by putting the value of the mega, we can change this. So here the value is 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 and this is pascal so here this is the value of the pressure in pascal now on the basis of the given data so this is a given data now we have to find we have to find the number of moles the uh, value of the small n so there is a formula and the name of the formula is a ideal gas law and this ideal gas law is PV equal to this N R T. So this rule we have to use to find the value of the N. Now, if I take the N from this formula, so the N will be this N is equal to PV over R 
and t. So this formula we have to use to find the value of the number of moles number of moles <coughs> now the n this n is equal to the value of the pressure in pascal this is 0 0.25 into 10 to the power 6 pascal this is the value of the uh, value of the p and the v is i am calculate because here the space is not there so i am calculating this power this power i am calculating so after the calculation it will come 2.5 into 10 to the power so here it is a plus 4 and minus 9 so it will be minus 5 after the calculation the volume power i calculated and the value of the r is 8.314 multiply by the temperature is 80 so after the calculation the value of the n will be 0 0.0093 moles so these are the this is the value of the number of moles in the gas now this is the first part of the of the answer now the second part of this answer is we have to find the total number of molecules in the gas. So here now we have to find what is the value of this capital N. So to find the value of this capital N, we have to use the <coughs> Avogadro's number, Avogadro's formula. So this Avogadro formula is this N equal to N over, this is Na. And from this rule, I can take this and outside so here this n is equal to this n multiplied by n a n a is constant we know so here the number of moles are coming 0 0.0093 and the Avogadro number is it is a constant so it is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules in one mole of gas and after the calculation, the answer will be, this is 5.65 into 10 to the power 21 molecules are there. So these are the total number of molecules in the gas. So this is the value of the N. So this is the answer. The question number three, a sample of helium gas at STP, so the helium gas is at STP, occupies 65 liters. So this 65 liter is the value of the volume of the gas, determine the number of moles. So determine the number of moles of the helium gas. Now here there is a one cylinder and this is the in this cylinder there is a helium gas. This is the cylinder of the helium gas and the volume of the gas is 65 liter. And there is a STP means STP is the standard temperature and the pressure. So here the value of the temperature is the standard temperature and the value of the standard temperature is 0 degree centigrade and here there is a pressure there is a standard pressure of the gas so the standard value of the pressure of the gas is one atmosphere so these are the uh, given data so here this uh, temperature is the standard temperature and the pressure is also the standard pressure so the given data is this one and we have to find the value of the number of moles. But we have to write all the given data in the form of the standard unit. So here the volume is 65 liter, but we cannot use in liter the volume. 
So 1 liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3, it is meter cube. So this relation you have to use to change liter to meter cube. So now the volume is 65 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. Now this is in meter. Now the temperature, the temperature is given 0 degree centigrade, but the 0 degree centigrade we cannot use. So here this, the temperature in Kelvin is 0 plus 273 is equal to 273 Kelvin. In the Kelvin we have to use and the pressure is the pressure of the gas is one atmosphere and in the Pascal it is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 and this is Pascal. So this is the thing and now we have to find the value of the number of moles. So for that we have to use the ideal gas formula and the ideal gas formula is n pv is equal to n r t so we have to find the value of the n so this n is pv divided by r t uh, the value of the value of the p is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 multiply by volume so the volume is 65 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it is divided by the r r is a gas constant so the va this value is given to you the r value so this is 8.314 multiply by t value and the value of the t is 273 kelvin and after the calculation this answer will come it is 2.9 moles. Question number four. A sample of nitrogen gas is contained in a cylinder with freely moving crystal having a volume. So this is the value of the volume. The volume of 1 into 10 to the power 5 centimeter cube at 40 degree centigrade so this is the value of the temperature and 1.08 bar so this is the value of the pressure expands until its volume so the gas is expanding until its volume so this is again the volume came the second volume or the final volume came and its pressure so this is the value of the the value of the pressure is 1.03 bar so here this data that this volume is the initial volume of the gas and this is the initial volume of the uh, initial temperature of the uh, of the gas and this is the initial uh, pressure of the gas and here this volume is a final volume of the gas and this is the final pressure of the gas so this data is given to us now there is a part one find the final temperature of the sample so final temperature means t2 you have to find now we have to write the data which is given so the given the given data here the volume is this is v1 the volume is it is 1.0 into 10 to the power 5 in the unit of centimeter cube but this centimeter cube we cannot use so we have to change this to the meter cube so if you are changing if you are changing centimeter cube to the meter cube so multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 so accordingly we will change the volume so this the initial volume is 1.0 into 10 to the power 5 and this is multiplied by 
minus 6 and this will be in meter. Now the second is the T1. So the initial temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. So this centigrade also we cannot use. And to change into Kelvin, we have to add 273. And the value of the T1 will be, it is 313 Kelvin. And the value of the P1, the P1 is 1.08 bar. And this bar also we cannot use. So this you have to change into Pascal. So there is a relation between the bar and the Pascal. So by taking, by using that relation, there is a one bar. One bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So by using this relation, the value of the initial pressure is 1.08 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So all these data is an initial data. Now the final, <coughs> the final volume is it is 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 centimeter cube. So this also the cube we have to change to meter cube. So by using the uh, same relation between the centimeter cube and the meter cube. So this will be this will be 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 and here multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 and this volume will be in meter cube. And here the last one is the P2 and the P2 is 1.03 bar. So this also we will use this relation. One bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So here the value of the final pressure is 1.03 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So here now we have to choose. We have to choose the formula. We have to choose the choose the formula which is correct for this given data. Now if you see here, here five parameters are there and all the parameters are changing. There is no two parameters which is same. So the V1 and the, the volume here, the volume here and the volume here, they are not same. And the temperature here, it, it is given and we have to find the final one. And the pressure here, the P1 and this P2, they are also not same. So the equation we have to choose, that is, the characteristic gas equation. So this characteristic gas equation we have to use and the formula for the characteristic gas equation is this is P1 V1 over T1 it is equal to this is P2 V2 over this is T2. So here we have to find the value of this T2. So we have to rearrange the formula. So after you take this T2 one side. So if I take this T2 one side, so this formula will be, it is T1 multiplied by P2. This is V2 and divided by P1 and V1. So this formula after the cross multiplication we have to use. Now, this is T2 and the value of the T1 is, it is 3, 1, 3 multiplied by P2. P2 is 1.03 into 10 to the power 5. And V2, V2 is I am calculating this. I am I am calculating this value. Okay, I am calculating this whole value because I have the less space. So the value of the V2 after the calculation, this value will be. This value will be 0 0.25 after the calculation. And the P1 is. 
the P1, the P1 is, this is 1.03 into 10 to the power 5 and the V1, so I'm calculating the value of the V1. So this, the whole value I'm calculating. So after the calculation, it will come 0 0.1. And the value of this T2 will be, after calculating, after the calculation, 746.2 Kelvin. So this is the A answer of the A part. This is the answer of the A part. Now for the B part, for the B part, find the number of moles, find the number of moles N of the oxygen present. So here you have to find the number of moles. This you have to find. Now there is a formula for the number of moles to find the number of moles. So we can use the ideal gas, the ideal gas law. And this law is PV equal to N, R, and T. And from this rule, this N, this N is equal to, this N is equal to PV over This is R and here it is T. Like so the val the formula for the N is N equal to T B and this is T. So this formula we use. Generally, this formula we use when there is a single value, no initial and the final values are given. But sometimes we use this formula, we use this formula for the initial values if the initial values are given we can use this formula okay so how to use this formula if we have to put the initial values so here this this r is a constant so here this r we are leaving i am not using this uh, this r and i am changing this the pressure the volume and the temperature the initial values I am taking, I am leaving this R and this N is equal to, so I am writing like this. So here the pressure is initial pressure and the volume is the initial volume and the temperature is the initial temperature like this. So this, we can change the formula, the ideal gas formula sometimes in the form of the initial values or we can change in the form of the final values also. So if I take, uh, if I take for the final values, the form of the formula will be like this. Instead of the initial values, this formula will be same like this. Pf and here it is Vf and here it is Tf. So this also I can use to find the value of the n. So the value of the N we can find by using this formula. This is PI and this is VI over this is TI. Either this or also we can use the final values. Any one we have to use. So this is VF, PF, VF over this is TF. Now this both the data we have, so I am taking this data, so I am using this portion of the formula to find the value of the N. Now this N, the value of the PI is PI in Pascal, so this is 1.08 into 10 to the power 5 and the volume after VI, the, uh, the, the, I, I have calculated the value of the VI, so after the calculation, the value of, you can say this is P1, okay, or this is, this is V1, or this is T1, or this is 
maybe the formula may be like this okay this is p2 and this is v2 and this is t2 in any form so here the v1 or the vi say meaning so here the value of the the value of the initial volume is, is 0.1 meter cube and the value of the t i the, the t i or the t1 is 313 kelvin after the calculation the value of the n is coming 34.5 moles so this way we can find the answer if you are taking if you are taking if you can find the answer of this n by taking this formula also okay if you are choosing this formula this is p2 v2 over t2 the same answer you will get if you are putting the value of the p2 the value of the v2 and the value of the t2 the same answer you will get from that formula also there is no difference in the uh, answer if you are using the initial values or if you are using the final values a welder's oxyacetylene tank gas has a pressure of so here the pressure is given the pressure of 300 kilopascal and occupies a volume of 60 liter if the gas is expanded to the volume to the volume of 70 liter what will be its pressure so here you have to find the pressure so these are the initial values of the pressure and the volume so this is p1 and this is v1 and this is the final value so this is p2 and assuming that the expansion occurs at constant temperature so here the temperature is constant so this temperature is constant here now the given data we have the pressure the p1 this is 300 kilopascal kilopascal but this kilo you have to change so the p1 is 300 kilo 10 to the power 3 so this is 10 to the power 3 pascal this is the in pascal you have to take the value of the pressure and the volume the initial volume is it is 60 liter so liter you cannot use there is a relation between the liter and the meter cube so this liter should be in the unit of meter cube so one liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube so the value of the v1 is it is 60 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and this is meter cube if the gas is expanded to the volume so there is expansion in the gas the volume is increasing so this is the final uh, volume and this is 70 liter so the same rule you have to use to change from liter to meter cube so here it is 70 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and this is meter cube and this p2 you have to find now this question is saying this question is saying the temperature of the gas is not changing so this temperature is constant for this gas so now there is a one idea <coughs> which formula we have to use now it is very clear that in the Boyle's law in the Boyle's law this temperature is constant so the formula for the Boyle's law is this is p1 v1 it is equal to p2 and this is v2 so this formula we have to use to find the value of the p2 now you have to do the cross multiplication for the p2 so p2 means this p2 should be one side so this will go down this will go down so here this is p1 and it is v1 and this is v2 so now put the value of the p1 the p1 is 300 
multiplied by 10 to the power 3 Pascal and the V1 is it is 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it is divided by V2 and this is 70 and this is 10 to the power minus 3 and the value of the final pressure is this is 2 5 it is a very big value 2 5 7 1 4 7 1 4 2 Pointed Pascal. So this is the answer here. One more thing that this value you can you can uh, represent in the kilo Pascal also. If the question is saying find the value of the pressure in kilo Pascal, so we know this one kilo is equal to 10 to the power 3. Now if we are moving from here to here, so if you are changing the kilo, so you multiply. And if you have some value and you are changing the value in the form of the kilo, so you divide. So it means you write this value. This is 2, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, point 8. And this is divide by 10 to the power 3. So divide by 10 to the power 3, it means it is 2, 5, 7, point one and this is below Pascal. So in the same way you can find the value of the keto in the mega Pascal. For the mega Pascal you have to you have to divide you have to divide by you have to divide by 10 to the power 6 for mega. Now, question number six, a gas thermometer is found to have a volume of 150 centimeter cube. When this is a cube, centimeter cube, so here also centimeter cube. So 150 centimeter cube when placed in an ice water bath at 0 degree centigrade. So this is the value of the volume. Say it is an initial volume and this is the temperature of the water. This is the temperature initial we can say. When the same thermometer, when the same thermometer is immersed in boiling liquid chlorine. So this thermometer is placed in the boiling liquid chlorine the volume of hydrogen the volume of the hydrogen at the same pressure so here two activities are there and the gas has the same pressure so the pressure in the first activity and the pressure in the second activity of the gas it is same so the pressure is the question is telling the pressure is same here is found to be 100 centimeter cube so this hundred this is the value of the final volume now what is the temperature of the boiling point of the chlorine so here you have to find the value of the t2 now the question is saying there is a one thermometer this is the say this is say this is the thermometer and this is the thermometer and inside the thermometer there is a gas uh, hydrogen and there is a one one vessel so the vessel is here this vessel is here like this okay so this this is a thermometer so this is the thermometer and here there is a water so inside this and the temperature of this water the temperature of this water is 0 degree centigrade so when the temperature of this water is 0 degree centigrade the same temperature is going to the gas. <clears throat> so this is the this is the temperature of the gas. So at this temperature, the volume here, the volume of the hydrogen gas, this is the initial volume. This is 150 
centimeter cube so this it is given here now what happened <coughs> another time in the second case this thermometer is taken here this thermometer is taken here and the hydrogen is here and now at the here this is here this is water here in this case here here there is a water and in this case this is a thermometer and in this case here there is a there is a liquid chlorine here there is a liquid chlorine cl this is chlorine liquid chlorine and when this thermometer is placed in the liquid chlorine we don't know what is the temperature of what is the temperature of the liquid chlorine but at this temperature the volume of the hydrogen thermometer is it is 100 centimeter cube so now the question is saying when this thermometer is placed in the liquid chlorine so what is the value of the temperature at which the volume of the hydrogen is 100 centimeter cube in both the cases okay like in this case and in this case the pressure of the gas is constant the pressure of the gas is not changing so this is given now this is very clear like if the pressure of the gas is not changing so this uh, this information in the information which is given so we have to use we have to use the charles law because in the charles law the pressure is constant this is the idea we are getting to perform the answer now what is given to us so here the value of the value of the volume is it is given it is 150 centimeter cube so this centimeter cube you cannot take so the relation if you are changing if you are changing centimeter cube to meter cube so multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 so your volume will be converted to the meter cube. so this is 150 multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 so this volume will be changed to meter cube another is uh, the temperature so the initial temperature is 0 degree centigrade so centigrade you cannot take you have to take in kelvin so in the kelvin this is 273 kelvin now the same as for the final volume the final volume of the hydrogen gas is 100 centimeter cube so by using the same relation we can change so here the v2 is it is 100 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 and this is v2 so this is the given theta and we have to use the charles law because this because this pressure is constant here so this is very clear that we have to we have to use the charles law we have to use the charles law and the charles law is the charles law is that is v1 over this is t1 equal to v2 and this is t2 so this by using this rule if i take the t2 outside so this t2 will be outside so here it will come t1 and this is v2 divided by divide divided by v1 so this formula we have to use to find the value of the t2 So after putting the values, it is T2 and the T1 is 273 multiplied by V2. V2 is 100 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 and this is divided by V1 and the value of the V1 is 150 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 and after the calculation 
the value of the temperature will come 182 Kelvin. This is the answer. Now, the question number seven. So, you try this question. I am giving a hint in this question which formula you have to use. Before a trip from Nizwa to Salala, the pressure in automobile tire. So this is the value of the pressure, the initial pressure, and this is the value of the temperature, initial temperature in the tire of the car. At the end of the trip, the pressure gauge, the pressure in the tire is this one. So this is the value of the P2. Now, what is the new Celsius temperature? New Celsius temperature of the air inside the tire. So here you have to find the value of the T2. Now the question is saying this you have to find in the unit of in the unit of degree centigrade. <clears throat> and the question is also saying the volume is the volume is constant here. So in this question, the volume of the tire of the car is not changing. So if the volume is constant, so here this is giving the idea which rule you have to use. The rule here you can use this is gay Lussac's law or the pressure law. So this formula you have to use. This is P1 over T1 and this is P2 over T2. So <clears throat> here you have to find the value of this T2. So first what you have to do first you change this atmosphere in Pascal and this degree centigrade in Kelvin and here also this atmosphere in the Pascal. Now if you put all the values like this the all the all the values in that unit you, it is like this and you will get the answer for the T2 but this answer from this formula it will come in Kelvin. It will not come in degree centigrade. It will come in Kelvin. But the question is saying you have to give you have to give the answer in the unit of degree centigrade. Now what you have to do? How much answer you are getting here? So what to do? Write this answer here and then minus two seventy. 3. So your number will be changed to degree Celsius. So this way you can do. 